Good afternoon, North Greenville. You're watching Vision 48 News. I'm Amber Doyle. And I'm Hampton Knapp. As you all know, last week we had fall break at NGU. After classes on Friday, students went home for an extended weekend, returning back to school on Wednesday, the 16th. Relly Moore catches up with some students in the field to find out how they celebrated their days off. Hey, I'm Riley Moore, reporting for Vision 48 News. We're going to find out what some of the North Greenville students did over their fall break. So, Johnson, what did you do over your fall break? This fall break, I went to uh, Jones Gap, did a little backpacking, and then uh, went deer hunting with my dad. Uh, did you do this every day, or? Uh, Monday and Tuesday was the backpacking, and then Tuesday night I went deer hunting, so. I also hear that you're a Broncos fan. Did you happen to watch the game on Sunday? Oh, man, I missed the game, but it's 6-0, and baby, so we're going to take it to the Super Bowl this year. Well, Johnson Green, a lot of hunting and missing the football game. <laughs> I missed the football game. So, Lauren, what did you do this fall break? Um, I went home and slept and hung out with friends. Did you do this every single day? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you hung out with friends and slept every single day? Yes. Did you catch up one sleep or were you just sleeping casually? No, I was catching up. <laughs> I caught up on my sleep. Well, that's good. Lauren, sleeping, hanging out with friends. Fall break. Okay, Randy, what did you do over fall break? Well, I lost What Are the Odds right before fall break, so I couldn't shower the whole time, and I also had to wear the same shirt. How does this person that bet you in What Are the Odds, how do they know you didn't shower? They smelled me. They smelled you every day? No, they just smelled me when I came back. Was it that bad? I mean, I don't think so. It could have been, though. He believed me. <laughs> Randy, didn't shower over fall break. I'm here with Nick and he's going to tell us what you did over fall break. I just relaxed and hung out with family. Um, I had some family come up from Arizona and I got to hang out with them every day and that was fun. Just relaxed, got a lot of sleep and didn't do much homework which is always nice. <laughs> did you pull the you know average college student do the homework on the last day right before class? Oh yes. <laughs> So, safe to say, just like everyone else, um, school was the last thing on your mind. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to relax and have some fun. Well, rest, fall break. That's what we need. This has been Rally Moore reporting for Vision 48 News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Rally. This week is homecoming week here on campus. Our theme this year is vintage video games. Yesterday, the Crusaders kicked off the week with vintage video game trivia at lunch and in the Battle of the Crusaders in the evening. Tonight's game is duck hunting, and it will be held on the student services field at 8 p.m. There will be more trivia tomorrow during lunch and Donkey Kong bowling at the Peach Bowl on Wayhampton. Make room for a big lunch on Thursday because food eating contests will be taking place in the dining hall. Thursday night is the annual homecoming showcase taking place in the chapel at 9 p.m. Then there will be more trivia on Friday and a cornhole tournament at 3.30. There will be a pep rally complete with fireworks and a bonfire at 8.30 p.m. on the field in front of the football stadium. And Saturday is the much-anticipated homecoming football game against Carson Newman at 2.30. We hope to see you there. If you plan on attending any of these events, make sure to take photos and post them on Instagram for a chance to win prizes in the homecoming Instagram contest. Your photos must have the hashtag WeAreNGU and at NGU Crusaders to be qualified. There are many wonderful activities to keep you busy through homecoming week. For the rest of the school year, we have magic to keep you entertained. We're joining a resident magician, Mason Bain, in the field. Hey, I'm Mason. We're going to do some magic. All right, what do you want me to do? Take one. Anyone? Yeah, All not right. that one. That's right here. You can take that one. All right. Never mind. Should I show it? Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> here, uh, put it back in the middle somewhere. Sit down. Right. Here, what we're going to do, we're going to try to get you to stop, right? Here. Call stop somewhere. Stop right there. Right there? A little bit more, a little bit less. Right there. That's good. Okay. That's good. Here. That wasn't your card, was it? Nah. That would have been a cool trick. What was your card? The seven hearts. Right there. Seven of hearts. Are you a witch? Probably. Are you strong? You feel strong? Yeah. Let me get out. I'm strong. Right-handed. 
Yeah, I'm right-handed. Okay, right-handed. Here, hold it. Squeeze Both down. Them? Yeah. Squeeze down. Oh, uh, use your left hand, too. Super. Like, don't let go. All right, I got you, dude. I, got I can't get in and nothing can come out, right? It's going to, like, shock me or something. That's so cool. Watch. This one goes into my hand. Oh. Okay. Yeah. When I blow on it, it goes. Open your hand. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He wasn't ready. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> even feel no. that. Hey, hey. He wasn't ready. Hey. This past weekend, Meredith Llewellyn crowned the new Miss NGU. Twelve girls competed in the competition, and Tony Beam emceed for the girls as they performed an opening number, followed by a chance to show off their, e their evening wear and athletic wear. The pageant also held a talent portion before crowning the winner, Miss Kaylee Givens. Kaylee is a junior here at NGU. She will go on to compete in other pageants throughout the year as she holds the title Miss NGU 2014. This week's Athletics Chapel is going to be a little different on Friday. Instead of your regular chapel, Friday's FCA will take place in the gym for Mo's Madness. It features a men and women's dunk contest, a three-point shooting contest, and a student versus faculty game. The players and the coaches for the opening season will be introduced as well. Halloween is quickly approaching. With one week left to finalize your costume, North Greenville is preparing for Halloween as well. On October 31st, North Greenville will have open dorms, which means the girls' dorms on campus are open to visitors. The faculty and staff have the chance to take their children trick-or-treating on campus, going from room to room. So girls, please have some candy ready for the kids. Your dorm must remain open all evening, and if guys are in the room, everyone's feet must remain on the floor. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Thanks for watching Vision 48 News. I'm Amber Doyle. And I'm Hampton Knapp. Good night.